Good day once again, friends. Welcome to First Baptist Church Grand Cayman's daily devotional on Wednesday, the 15th of April. And as we've been seeking to do today, we turn once again to the book of Proverbs, to the 15th chapter. And the verse very much on my mind is found at verse 13. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. I don't know if you've ever had the uh, opportunity to be in a recording studio, maybe a radio station, and all around usually you'll see little smiley faces. They're there to remind whoever's taking part, not to be looking like you're ready for a hanging, but to smile because somehow or other, even though nobody can see your face, they will pick up the tone of what you're saying. So if you're smiling, it will have a different way of coming over the airwaves than if you're looking very distraught. It's not to say, of course, that if you are very distraught, you should simply smile. But the Bible has lots to say about our heart attitudes and even our face attitudes. There are times when, of course, some folk always look miserable and you want to say, you know, isn't it time you gave your face a holiday? Somebody remarked, I'm not sure if it's anatomically true or not, that it takes 42 muscles to frown, but only 17 to smile. Well, a lot of us could save an awful lot of muscle power by just having a smile. But of course, this verse goes a little bit deeper than just a smile on the face. It talks about a happy heart. And a happy heart here is related to walking with God. It's a heart at leisure from itself, a heart that is in tune with its maker, who knows his forgiveness, who knows they're loved and they're accepted by the God of the universe through Jesus Christ. And so here today we're reminded in the 15th chapter that the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. They watch over the wicked and the good. So you never have to think, gosh, God will be surprised about that. He sees all things. Moreover, it says, death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more do human hearts? God knows all about us. And yet in grace and love and mercy, he loves us indeed in Christ. And then it goes on to talk about the prayer of the righteous pleases him. The Lord hears the prayers of the righteous. We have a God who knows our hearts. He knows our intentions. He knows us at our best. And of course, he knows us at our worst. And this verse here simply reminds us that since God knows our hearts, then we're to rely and trust to him. Just recently, I saw a t-shirt of a young man in his 30s who was terminally ill. It had a little quote from Proverbs underneath, but it simply said this, I've got this, God. And I don't know what you may be facing today. I don't know what battles you have to face, what rivers that seem uncrossable, what mountains you can't tunnel through. But we do need to know this. God has got it. Our times and our lives are in his hands. The happy heart makes for a cheerful face. Well, relying upon our God today, let's pray that he'll turn our tears to laughter and our distraught faces shining with the light of Christ and one way and another mirroring the fact that grace is good for us, for grace brings joy to the heart and a smile to our faces. May you today light somebody's light up and somebody's life up with the life of Christ within you. God bless you today.